Hi guys, welcome to Auto Share India. We review and give you all the details on the latest and upcoming cars and bikes. If you would like to watch more videos related to automobiles, please go ahead and subscribe to Auto Share India. Say hello to the BMW 3 Series Grand Limousine. So clearly, as the name suggests, the priorities with this car is a little different from the normal 3 Series, where the sports come first, then the comfort. With this car, they are trying to find the perfect balance. So, have they succeeded? Let's find out. In terms of design, the front is exactly the same of the 3 Series. Even the rear design is exactly the same of the 3 series but wait 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 except for the L letter which has a significant effect in the way this car looks in profile So the letter L stands for the long wheelbase so as compared to the normal 3 series the Grand Limousine has a wheelbase that is 110 mm longer Because of that this car not only looks more imposing and sleek but also has a positive effect on its number one priority that is the rear seat comfort Talking about the rear seat experience as you can see it has loads and loads of knee room as compared to the 3 series it is 43 mm more The seat cushioning is thicker for added comfort and the seat is really supportive. Under thigh support is great. There is more than enough headroom and it's a nice place to be in. You also get really pampered in the rear seat of the Grand Limousine as you get loads of storage spaces. You also get 3 zone climate control and it is equipped with 2 USB type C sockets in the rear. What could have made this rear seat even better are the missing features like the rear sun blinds, adjustable backrest, a foldable table to maybe put your laptop on, and there are also no controls at the rear to adjust the front seat to generate more knee room at the back. These things could have definitely made it better. As compared to the luxury line in the normal 3 series you do get an upgraded Harman Kardon system more ambient lighting more silver accents which do look more luxurious with a large panoramic sunroof Other than the feature additions the traditional 3 series brands are still there you get a i drive system which is wonderful to use and now you also get a wireless android auto and apple carplay which makes the wireless charging pad really usable then talking about the quality everywhere you touch the feel is impeccable The additional length has also affected weight which has gone up by around 70 to 80 kilos that's quite a bit so has it affected the ride handling and the engine performance of the Grand Limousine In terms of the engine options it is the same as the normal 3 series where you get a 2 liter turbocharged diesel engine with 190 horsepower and 400 Nm of torque and 2 liter turbocharged petrol engine with 258 horsepower we are driving the petrol engine which is 2 liter with 258 horsepower the engine is refined it's smooth and it's punchy as well but the star of the show is the gearbox it is quick as well as smooth so driving this car in a relaxing manner or in a fast manner is really enjoyable Yes, 
On paper, it is slightly slower than the normal 3 series by around 0.8 seconds to 100 km per hour. But when you are behind the wheel, you won't really notice it. Even on the highways, the engine has loads of torque which makes overtaking easy and even the quick shifting gearbox helps your start. With the addition of space, the Grand Limousin is not only more comfortable in terms of seating but the BMW has also softened the suspensions to make it good at tackling bad roads. And clearly, you can feel the difference where this car just glides over the worst of our roads and on the highways too, the suspensions are soft but damping is good as well, where it doesn't feel bouncy ever over flow surfaces. Combine luxurious and plush ride quality with the quiet cabin, the 3 Series Grand Limousin might be the best driving car in its segment. A BMW best driving? Well, I don't remember saying that in a long, long time. Obviously, in the Grand Limousin, the handling takes a bit of a head. For example, the long wheelbase, it doesn't dart into corners as quickly as the normal 3 series does. And also, because of the softer suspension which makes the ride really plush. In the corners, the Grand Limousin rolls quite a bit. So yes, it doesn't feel as keen as the normal 3 series. But for most people, this car's dynamic ability will be more than enough. And as compared to its competition, it is at par. So, does the 3 Series Grand Limousin has the right mix of sportiness and comfort? And the answer is yes, it handles well enough, it's got a really plush ride. On top of that, the comfortable rear seats really elevates its luxury reminder. The Grand Limousin's price is the same cost as the 3 Series M Sport variant which is around 48 to 50 lakh rupees. So, the 3 Series family becomes richer with the normal variant, appealing to the keen driver. Well, honestly, this car has such a good mix of sportiness and comfort that this will appeal to most of the Indian buyers. So, if you are looking to buy a 3 Series or any other car in this segment, the Grand Limousin should be on the top of your list. The iDrive system is one of the best in the business in terms of display quality and the usability. But the same can't be said about the instrument cluster. Yes, the display quality is good and the layout is a bit too simple and it also doesn't have too much functionality. On top of that, when you are in comfort mode, the day looks nice and sporty, while in sports mode, it's a bit less sporty. In this car, you get auto dimming outside rear view mirror which is a great feature for night driving. But guess what, it's exclusive only to the right one and missing on the left mirror. So the wireless charging pad on the Grand Limousin is big enough to fit an iPhone 12 with a thicker cover. But OnePlus 8 Pro is slightly taller and with a cover on it, it won't fit. In terms of storage space, the Grand Limousin is really good, where in the door box you can place a big container along with a small container beside it. Plus, there is some space remaining to put your wallet in. Even the seat back pockets are nice spring loaded and the hardcover ensures that you can secure things in place. But the cool thing is the pop out cup holders, they look like the eyes of a robot and are adjustable to hold different size containers. As I have mentioned many times, the rear seat of the Grand Limousin is really comfortable but what about the third person's comfort in the middle? Getting a foot over the big transmission tunnel is a pain but once you're in it, it's not bad at all. 
you have just about enough headroom and knee room as expected. So it's not a problem at all. Thanks to the wide opening doors on the Grand Limousine, getting in and out of the car is much easier as compared to the normal 3 series. Now this car actually replaces 3 series GT and in terms of boot space it is where this car falls behind because the 3 series GT used to have a notch opening tailgate. This one has a normal boot opening and the boot space is exactly the same as in the normal 3 series. So the boot floor is quite high and also because of which loading big bags can be a problem. So that is it about the new BMW 3 series Grand Limousine. We are eager to know towards which model you would lean more. Is it the current 3 series or the new Grand Limousine? Please let us know in the comments section. Also, if you did enjoy this content, don't forget to like and share the video.